Well, the employee share showed the number of seats in the theater and their respective costs. Uh, 10 euro, there's 135 people bought the 10 euro seats, 390 people bought the 30 euro seat, but we don't know how many bought the X and we don't know how many people bought the 26 euro seat and the 40 euro seat. Calculate the value of X and value of Y. Okay, well, good news is I can calculate how many people 45 degrees equals how many people, how many seats? Nope, 135. Divide both sides by 45. One degrees would be the equivalent of three seats. This links me to the following information then. If 100 degrees would be how many uh, seats then? 300, because you got to multiply both sides by hundreds. So straight away, I know that there's 300 for this one. Everybody okay with that? Okay. Now, it doesn't, it's, all oh, right. Is this question uh, incomplete? Uh, how many, oh, I get it now. I need to calculate what 360 degrees is. Yeah. So 360 degrees would be how many people? Multiply it by three, you get a thousand ants. Was everybody happy with 1,080? So there's 1,080 people. This means when I add 135 to 300 to 390 plus Y, it has to equal 1,080. I get my 1,080, and I just keep taking away the other numbers. I take away 135, I take away 300, I take away 390, and I get 255 people for the 40. See, are we okay with that? Shh. Calculate the total number of seats sold. A thousand and eighty. Right. So, guys, just to read, the full circle is three hundred and sixty degrees, and we figured out earlier that one degree equals three seats. That's why we multiply the three sixty by three to get a thousand and eighty in total for the entire amount of people. Now, the mean price per seat. This is going to be total total costs divided by total seats. Has everybody got that? Total cost divided by total seats. So let's do this. Okay. I sold 135 10 euro seats. How much money did I make from that? I sold 26 300 euro seats. 7,800. Is that right? Or is it more? I think it's 7,800. Is it? 20, uh, 300 people multiplied by 26? Thank you. Uh, 30 multiplied by 390, 390 seats at 30 quid each. So? And then finally, 40, uh, 255 seats sold at 40 quid each. 10,000? 200. And can you uh, add them all together? Now, how many seats were there in total? Nope. 135 plus 300 plus 390 plus 255? Over 1,080. So what you say? 31,000? And divide that by 1,080. What's the price of the average seat? 28 euro and... 75 cents. Okay, pause it there. Oh, yeah. We're... Yeah, in a minute. Okay. That's next question. Shh. All right, get rid of that. Now, here's what's happening. If I know that one degree equals three people, we agreed that earlier, didn't we? Okay, can anybody tell me which ones do we not have marked in yet? We only have 26 and 10. So 20 and 6 and 10 don't matter anymore. So I'm just going just gonna to X them out. Just get them out of my sight for a minute. Now, what angle would 390 people be? So 390. How do you go from 3 up to 390? Multiply by 130. So it's 130 
degrees. And finally, this is going to be an awkward one. Does it go evenly? Uh, how many? What's a uh, three into two hundred and fifty-five? So three into two hundred fifty-five is eighty-five. So eighty-five degrees would equal two five five. So I have to take out. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do this without your without your uh, your thing here. So I'm doing, gonna. Oh dear. What I'm gonna do is gonna grab it here. Uh, turn it upside down and do the eighty-five degree one first. Okay. So looking for eighty-five degrees. I'm gonna do it down below. So here's my line. Start off here with the, where the 45 ends with a thinner line than that. Okay, and go to 85. So you can see it here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, halfway between 80 and 90. Go back up to the edge of the circle. And there you go. That's my 85 degrees. Now, what does that represent? 85 degrees represents the 40 euro tickets. And this must leave over 130 degrees. That represents the 30 euro tickets. Everybody cool with that? Now, a pie chart illustrates uh, there's a football match and this many people went to the football match. We have neutral support, home team support, and away team support. Okay, calculate the away team supporters. Well, it's 64,440. And you got to multiply that by 35 over what? 360. Because of the way the angle is, it's 35 degrees out of 360 degrees is how much, what fraction of, of way supporters there are. So happens when you multiply that out, what you get? Anybody? 6,000? There we go with that. Right? Next thing. Oh, yes. 440. You divide it by 360, which makes it smaller, and then you multiply it by 35. Okay. Next thing. How much angle is left? There's meant to be 360 degrees in total. But you got to take away your 35, and you got to take away your 50. Yeah. This means essentially your home support is 275 degrees out of every 360 degrees. Or two, for every 360 supporters, 275 of them will be home team support. Multiply that by 64,440. 49,225. Everybody all right with that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, another way of doing it would be to say that 360 degrees is the same as 64,440 people. Divide that by 360 and what you get, Ryan? One degree is 179 people, and therefore 35 degrees is multiplied by 35. Does everybody get that? You can also do it that way where you know 360 degrees is 64,440. One degree is 179. Multiply 179 by 35 and you will find out what is 6,265. Everybody cool with that? Same way, same method actually. Okay, we're all good. Any questions? Uh, this question is a vague question, okay? So... What I'm going to show you is the following, all right? I'm going to show you a really, really si simplified version of this. Okay, you ready for this? Here's a really simplified version of this question. Here's two, Venn, uh, here's two pie charts, okay? Uh, pie chart one represents uh, 100... Uh, pie chart one represents 1,000 people. Pie chart two only represents 100 people. It's a yes-no vote. You got that? Just a simple yes-no vote. Everybody cool with that? Okay, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this one like uh, I'm gonna make this one just like that, right? So this is a yes vote, this is a no vote. Would everybody agree it's 500 and 500? How do you know that? They're about 180 degrees, aren't they? And this one I'll call it 177 degrees. 
for yes and 183 degrees for no. Is that okay? Uh, this is school A, which is a big school with 1,000 students. And this is school B with 100 students. Everybody agreed with that? Good so far? Here's my arguments. More students in school B voted no compared to school A. True or false? Okay, now th this is what we call a mathematical misconception. We're sending you up, right? So here's my statement. More students in, in school B voted no compared to school A. Okay, now here's here's where you're pretty much wrong, right? And I'll show you now. Ready for this? Okay, let's multiply it out. Will somebody quickly multiply 100 multiplied by 183 over 360 for me? Remember, B only represents 100 people. 50 point? So let's arguably say 51 people. 51 people fought with no in skill B, where 500 people fought with no in skill A. It's clearly skill A has more no voters. Would you agree with that? However, if I changed it and I said a greater percentage of school B voted no compared to school A, is that true or false? True. But did more people vote no in school B? No. So you got to remember the overall circle represents a certain amount of people. You've got to be aware of that. So let's look at the following question now. Just give me a sec, Aaron. Just going to hit the point home here. 420 students in school St. Bridget's, 780 in St. Joseph's. Are you all right with that? Bridget goes, there are about the same number of students taking higher level maths in St. Bridget's as there is in St. Joseph's. You can say roughly the same percentage, but not the same amount of students. Let's use a uh, higher level. Okay, let's use a protractor to do this, okay? We'll, we'll get a protractor to do this, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay? So let's measure the angle for higher level students. Okay, you don't have to do it this way, but it, it makes sense to do it this way. Uh, I would argue, I need, to, oh no, where is my angle thing? There you are. Okay. 90, 99 degrees. Is everybody cool with that? 99 degrees I measured. So will somebody measure, will somebody multiply 420 by 99 out of 360? Because it's 360 degrees, 150 point. So I'll call it 115. So I'll call it 116 people. Is that okay? For those of you that uh, don't understand it that way, the way I'm doing it is this. I'm saying 360 degrees equals 420 students. Everybody cool with that? What's one degree? Will somebody divide 420 by 360 for me? It's... 7 over 6 is, is a fraction. 7 over 6 is a fraction. And then what I'm asking you is, what does 99 degrees represent? So multiply 7 over 6 by 99. And you get 100 and 15.5, do you? So roughly 116 students. Is that all right with you guys? Let's go to the other school. Let's go to St. Joseph's now. Once again, whoa. Once again, I'm going to measure the higher level angle. I hope. There it is there. Okay. Let's hope we can measure this higher level angle here again. Where is my angle thing? There it is there. Okay, let's keep going. This angle is 96%. Is that okay? 96, sorry, 96 degrees. Is everybody cool with that? Now... There's not much difference between 99 degrees and 96 degrees. Would you agree with that? They look identical to each other, don't they? By eyesight, would you agree with that? By eyesight, eyesight, they look like the same size, don't they? However, let's do it this way. Let's get 780 people, and let's multiply it by 96 degrees out of 360. There you go. Just 208 students in St. Joseph's doing higher level maths, 
Well, there's 116 of them in St. Bridget's. Can I say that there are the same number of students in each school doing it? Pie charts are weak in one regard. They only tell you the fraction and the percentage. They don't give you the overall amounts. Does that make sense? It's a weakness of pie charts.